Hello, welcome in my vineyard. Today we are in the Richbourg. So this is uh, one of the best parcel of the domain. Uh, this is the, the, the last uh, episode of the red wine uh, we produce uh, at the domain. So it's not easy to explain the Richbourg because Richbourg, it's a, there are so many different type of soil. Here you can have just a piece of limestone like this flat limestone and like this and not too far you can have a very little piece of limestone and if you go a little bit more in the highest part of the hill you can find some sandy limestone also in terms of clay you have a lot of different type of clay here it's brown and when we make some hole to plant it some new vine because this is a very old vine Sometimes you, you can see some yellow clay and in the other part of the, of the vineyard the clay could be a little bit more red. So you have so many different types of soil. I think it's why that it's so, it's so hard to explain the different type of soil of Richbourg that it's hard to explain when we taste the wine. This Richbourg has a very nice situation because this is the southern part of the Richbourg and also the oldest part, the oldest vineyard of Richbourg. You can see some vine close to me, this, or this one, also the other one. This vineyard has been planted in 1931. So the, it was the only parcel was still pruned by the woman during the Second War. It's why that no, no vine has been replanted after the Second War, which is a case of most part of the vineyard of the domain has been replanted between 46 to 54. So this vineyard was still pruning because maybe it was Richbourg and it's, it's why, because the man was at the war, but only the woman was there to prune the vine. In 2019, Richbourg show a uh, very nice elegance. Richbourg, it's never a wine with a big body. I like to describe the Richbourg a little bit like uh, elegant, powerful. It's never a wine, uh, and especially when the wine is young, it's always a little bit shy. It's not a wine come to you, it's a wine you have to go to the wine. You don't have to hesitate to taste and to oxygenate this wine longer to have all the powerful, all the expression of the wine. So it's a wine you, can, you have to age more than 10 years before to have all the, all the, the faces of, of the wine. It's a wine need time, but uh, it's beautiful wine, but for, for long aging. Thanks to follow us and hope to see you soon in our vineyard. Goodbye.